When building out a Laravel app, you may need a way to check all the links on your website. And luckily enough, there is a package called the Laravel Link Checker that will allow you to do this. So let's go ahead and show you how to use this package. So I am going to just create a new Laravel app. I'm just going to say Laravel New Link Checker. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into that project. And I'm going to run the PHP Artisan Make Auth command. And this is going to generate all the authentication scaffolding for me for my application. And then I'll run PHP Artisan Serve. And we will have a localhost running on localhost 8000. So then if I navigate to localhost 8000, we have our authentication scaffolded Laravel application in front of us. So we can click on our login and we can click on our register. But what happens if we did something to our application and our register route gives us a 404? So we basically broke our app. Maybe we need a way to check this. Well, luckily enough, we can use the Laravel link checker. And if we scroll down here, we can see how easy it is to use. So we can install this using Composer. And after that has been installed, we can then go back to the GitHub page and see that there is a couple configurations that we need to add to our application. So we need to add the service provider in our config app.php. So let's open up our application in our text editor and go to our config app.php. And then if we scroll down, we will see the providers array and we can add this to the array. Then we also need to add our artisan command. So we can just copy this and go into our app console kernel.php and this will register a new artisan command for us. So then if I go back to the GitHub page, I can scroll down and you can see that we can use it running PHP artisan link checker run or we can specify a URL if we would like. So let's go ahead and start up our app. And then let's open up a new tab and let's go ahead and run the link checker. So let's say that we're running this on localhost 8000. And then we get a message that it has all been completed. And if we go back to our application and we go into our storage logs and our laravel.log, you can now see that we have a link check summary. And there is no errors because currently we don't have any errors on our application. So let's go ahead and change that and let's mess up our app a little bit. So if we go to our routes.php and let's go ahead and say route get register. And whenever we hit the register route, then I just want to abort with a 404. And let's create a 404 view. So if I go to resources, views, errors, I can then create a new file in here and just save this as 404.blade.php. And then I'll create an h1 and I'll say, whoops, we got a 404. So if we go back to our application and we can go back to the home page, the login page, and we can also click on the register, and then we get, whoops, we got a 404. So it would be nice if we could run this command and it will notify us that we have a 404 on our website. So let's run this command again. And now if we go back to this laravel.log file, you can see that we now have this 404 not found for localhost 8000 slash register. So this is a great way to check for all the errors that are happening on your website. And if we go back to the GitHub repo, there are a lot more configurations that you can use with the Laravel link checker. So for instance, we could then publish a config file and inside of the config, we could specify an email address that we want to be emailed when an error has been detected. And we can also schedule this to maybe happen like daily. So daily we could schedule our server to run this command and then we will get notified daily if there are any 404s or any other kind of errors for links on our website. So that's the basics about how to use the Laravel link checker package. I hope that you will use it in your Laravel apps. It's a great way to be able to detect broken links or errors on your website. So that's it for this video and I will see you in a future video. Hey there, my name is Tony and I'm the original creator of all the videos that you've been watching on the Dev Dojo YouTube channel. And I just wanna thank you for subscribing or even watching this video. And I do wanna take this time to let you know about a new platform at devdojo.com. And at Dev Dojo, you can learn premium lessons, series, and videos from web development, web design, and even tech in general. So I would encourage you to check it out and maybe subscribe to check out some of the premium videos, courses, and series.